one of the pieces was called Broken Heart. It was, from what I can recall, was my very first piece that I ever had framed to be able to be shown somewhere. Um, the title speaks for itself. I was crushed, broken heart. I was in a relationship. The relationship came to an end, and it was a way that I was processing through that horrible pain that you feel when you love somebody and the love isn't, isn't returned back or it's over with. And so I was just out gathering like I usually do, picking up junk and rusty pieces and so on, and brought these things together. I had mailed them uh, a rusty heart for a Valentine's present. And upon ending the relationship, they returned that rusty heart back to me. So I took that rusty heart and put it into an assemblage with the slash going through it. It was like, no more broken hearts for me. I've had it. And uh, I put pieces, each one of my pieces have some representation of what it means. The heart obviously was my heart. The slash is that it's broken and it's done. Because it's rusty, uh, it's like rust, when water drips onto metal, it changes the metal. And eventually when it dries, it changes the color and it's rusted. And usually when it's rusty, it's rough and it's, the texture is just uneven, which I was feeling uneven, rusty, bumpy, crusty, whatever you wanted to call it. That's what the broken heart felt like. And then I put a marble onto it because predominantly the assemblage didn't have a lot of color except for the rust. And the marble was kind of a bluish green of some sort. And that was a flashback to my childhood, which I loved to play marbles in the dirt. So it was a good memory. And I knew that I would come out of this broken heart and there would be good memories. There was a feather on it, which represented to fly away, to get away. I wanted to fly away. I didn't want any more heartache anymore. I just wanted to leave. There was a circle that was rusty on it, which symbolizes for me that love is a continuous full circle. My heart may be broken now, but it wouldn't be like that forever. And so pieces, different objects inspire me to put them in the assemblage, and that's how Broken Heart came about. Is that the piece that's showing here? or is No, it's no, not. It's, it's one of those pieces mm -hmm. that it was my very first. I won't even sell it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I have jaclays made of it, but it's not something I want to sell. It means a lot to me. Uh, um, my name's Atifa Thomas. Uh, the name of the piece is Black is Beautiful. Um, I've been trying a new medium with incorporating um, acrylic. I normally do found objects and three-dimensional sculptures. Um, I was talking with one of my friend artists, Karen Turner, who does the watermelons, and she was explaining to me about the icon of, of watermelons being something that used to be stereotypical and negative, and that she made it into something that is very beautiful and wonderful in all of her art pieces. So. I was inspired by her that black is always beautiful. It doesn't have to be 1960s or 70s, the era that I came from. With the <laughs> black is beautiful with the power and so on, the afros. And uh, so black is always beautiful. And I incorporated the colors of the red and black and green, which are the African-American flag. And uh, it was just important to me that uh, we have beautiful lips, we have wonderful big noses. Sometimes when I'm excited and thrilled about stuff and my eyes are really big and it doesn't have to be something that's stereotypical, it's the beauty of us. And uh, I always like to emphasize the hair. And um, our hair comes in all different kinds of ways, from uh, curly to straight to blonde to whatever color. So that's why I also incorporated the fabrics in it is just the showing the, mul the multitude and the different multiplicities of us. And then it's got the little bit of the uh, jewels is there, and that's not really uh, a teardrop, but it's just the amazement and the color of us, and that's how that was inspired. Thank you. So it is. <laughs> Thank you.